Hey, what's up YouTube? It's ICU and today we have something interesting to discuss in the realm of jailbreaking, specifically concerning what will hopefully be the next jailbreak for iOS 9.3.3 and lower. So this update concerns Pangu, specifically a talk that they're going to be giving at a conference, a security conference, no less similar to the earlier one from this month, MOSEC 2016, which of course was actually held by Pangu in China. So the difference here is that they're going to be presenting at Black Hat USA. We're going to get into that in just a second, but first I wanted to let you know that I've disabled everything for this video. If you guys want to discuss the topic, then down below in the description, I will actually have a direct link to the corresponding forum post on my site. If you have yet to register, it only takes a couple of seconds at jailbreakandhacks.com forward slash forms, and you can get any and all of your jailbreak related questions answered there, including directly from myself. All right, now let's go ahead and get into everything. If you guys happen to miss my last video discussing iOS, 9.3.3 and what will hopefully be a new jailbreak for the firmware, I definitely recommend watching through it now because in said video, I actually touch on the Pangu presentation at MOSEC 2016. There's a lot of confusion surrounding that conference because there was a rumor that Pangu actually said they were going to release a jailbreak and they gave a time frame for an iOS 9.3.2 jailbreak utility. However, of course, that didn't happen. And in this video right here, I specifically clarify things. So be sure to watch it, it's definitely helpful. So what are we actually talking about today? Well, Pangu is presenting at Black Hat USA 2016, which is going to be held in Las Vegas, which will commence on July 30th and go until August 2nd. And then the two days following the main event, there will be over 100 other selected briefings. So this is probably where Pangu is going to come into play because when we go ahead and switch on over to the venue here, we can see the description for Pangu 9 internals. This is going to be Pangu's presentation at the event. Now, they're not going to announce or even demo a new jailbreak utility at this event, at least that we know of. I mean, they could always surprise us at the end, but it's very unlikely. When we go ahead and look at what's actually listed here on the official Black Hat USA site, we can see everything the group has planned. So let me go ahead and read that for you guys now. It says, Pengu 9, the first and only untethered jailbreak tool for iOS 9, exploited a sequence of vulnerabilities in the iOS user land to achieve final arbitrary code execution in the kernel and persistent code signing bypass. Although these vulnerabilities were fixed in iOS 9.2, and that's not entirely true, they were of course fixed in iOS 9.1, and then Pangu later released a jailbreak for iOS 9.1 after it was no longer the latest public firmware, but anyway, skipping over that, there are no details disclosed. This talk will reveal the internals of Pangu 9. Specifically, this talk will first present a logical error in a system service that is exploitable by any container app through XPC communication to gain arbitrary file read write as mobile. Next, this talk will explain how Pangu 9 gains arbitrary code execution outside of the sandbox through the system debugging feature. This talk will then elaborate a vulnerability in the processing of loading the cache that enables Pangu 9 to achieve persistent code signing bypass. Finally, this talk will present a vulnerability in the backup restore process that allows apps signed by a revoked enterprise certificate to be executed without the need of the user's explicit approval of the certificate. So that's everything that's going to be detailed at the event, Black Hat USA 2016. In other words, Pangu's just going to be highlighting the current jailbreak that supports up to iOS 9.1, and of course does not include anything after iOS 9.1, which would then include iOS 9.2 up to today's current firmware, iOS 9.1. 3.3. So this is not going to even be like what happened at MOSEC 2016, where Pangu gave a demonstration of an iOS 10 jailbreak. No, they're just going to talk about what's already been done and how they were able to do it, which will hopefully empower new jailbreakers. Now, that's not to say that we're not going to get a jailbreak for iOS 9.3.x, just that all of the hype surrounding this conference is basically null and void because Pangu's just going to be talking about how they were able 
called Jailbreak iOS 9 and how Pangu 9 actually functions. If you guys want additional information on iOS 9.3.3 in general and what to expect in the realm of jailbreaking, again, check out the video that I mentioned earlier. It is linked for you down below in the description of this video. I definitely suggest that you watch through it. And I'm not really going to get into too much of a timeline for a potential iOS 9.3.x jailbreak release date. So if you guys want any additional information on really anything in the realm of jailbreaking, of course, check out the forums at jailbreakinghacks.com forward slash forums. And I may discuss other things related to jailbreaking in the coming days. I know so many of you have a number of great questions that I really want to address. So click the subscribe button below next to my channel name if you have yet to. That way you'll be fully updated and notified when I release said videos. And of course, just like me on Facebook and follow me on Twitter. And until next time, this is ICU signing out. Join the iCrack Your Device community on Patreon to help out the channel and to be featured in videos similar to these top contributors. Click the link on your screens now if you're on desktop or check below.